Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose right now, May the 5th, 2013, uh, about 30 seconds after midnight, Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, Christians in America, the new bad guys, and um, I have got so much to say. I've been offline for a long time because I haven't had a computer that worked properly until actually an hour and a half or two hours ago. I, I found a, a bug in it that I got out. And in any case, I have got so much to tell. But right now, I just want to clarify what I told you. Christians are the new bad guys. The Department of Homeland Security, they have training videos that depicts militias as chemical weapon welding ter terrorists. Now, the militia, I would chance, if I had a bet, I would bet that half or more are Christian. And this article is, is written by Brandon Smith, and you can find that at alt market dot com is a training style video available on a media page of the FEMA HCEP Homeland Security Exercise and Evaluation Program website and linked to the Department of Homeland Security. It features a fake news report depicting gun owners and militias it is terrorists planning bombing attacks on public centers. This is a, a very low blow by Homeland Security, by this country's leaders, and especially the atheists that they have that's putting on these, quote, training events or videos depicting the militia. Well, let me tell you what. You, whether you're a Christian or not, you got a lot to worry about. And I'm telling you, and I'm going to give some more information tomorrow night and about the range wars back in the 1800s or late 1800s in Wyoming and in Montana, where the governors sent out their hit men to rid the lands of the settlers. Well, they uh, uh, kind of underestimated Christian settlers. The settlers got together and rounded up the bad guys. And then the president ordered an army, a battalion, to go and rescue the bad guys from the settlers. That was an outcry back in those days because we were known and built on a biblical country by biblical values. And we brought them with us, or the, our forefathers did, and this what this country is based on, biblical values and the Bible in general. And it went great. But that was the first, well, it wasn't the first, the, the, there was others, but this is the first big known where they went in to eradicate two states of settlers so that the army, so that the government, rather, could have more grazing lands. Didn't work. It backfired. I call it the first attempt to undermine and to get rid of Christians in America. And I think the second attempt has been going on, as you know, since our president has been in office. But it's gotten really bad in the last several weeks or since his re-election. And when I say that whether you're a Christian or not, you need to worry about it, I'm telling you the truth. Number one, we're not going to lie down. No Christian will give up, throw their hands up, and get strapped to a cattle car by shackles 
and hauled out west into FEMA camps. That's not going to happen. Don't you think that they'll fight or will fight? And number two, we're not a bunch of idiots to carry around gas to hurt people. That's stupid. That's another plot or ploy put on by this atheist that's giving these training sessions and videos out to our military today, brain, brainwashing them the way Hitler did to get people thinking that the Jews were the bad guys, except these people want the Christians to be the bad guys. Got news for you. When the Christians are gone, this country falls. We're the only ones holding it together. Think about it. Look in the Bible. Read it. When the Holy Spirit takes his people out of the way, then hell will fall upon America. And judgment begins in a very harsh, critical way. Think about what our leader is doing against you as well as me and against all people who call themselves Christians or capitalists, meaning if you want to be a simple free man, they want that to go away. And you need to open your eyes. You need to pay attention to what's going on because it's coming and it's going to come soon. And I'm going to do my best to get this thing on the website, expose. Um, anyway, I've got a lot more that follows and I've got some that's going to really unnerve you and some that's going to scare you. And um, look for it soon. Jody Wolf exposed.